the North Florida Sports Network. The North Florida Sports Network. Welcome back. It's the North Florida Sports Network. You got Austin. You got Jimmy Reno. Yes. Happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Hump day. Don't do that. I won't. It's a... We just got a little quick hitter. Uh, You saw the uh, Florida Attorney General has started an investigation. What do you think about that? Antitrust? Yeah. I don't... I think it's... I don't care. Yeah, I know. It hurt. I'm just... I'm I'm, glad they did it, I guess. Yeah, there's nothing that brings it back. They're they're political. They should have done it 10 years ago when they saw the rules. It just hadn't had it. They should have figured it out before they had a chance to screw us over. Right. That's how I feel. Now I don't care. Yeah. Great. Right. Not going to make any difference. Well... We keep moving on. Yeah, we do. To try to get over the tragedy that happened December 3rd of 2023. The day that the sport took a Became figure skating? Yeah. Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah. But we move on. It's that season. Kids still got to play the game, man. They still go out there and play it. That's not fake. Nah. Yeah. Everything else that gets decided bunch of trash but you know well what you got what do i got what do i got tvd um wisconsin tvd to wisconsin the badgers i actually kind of like that fit man phil longo runs that offense where it's just kind of you know snap it and throw it don't even think Right. Wow, that's new. Yeah. You won't think of Wisconsin. You won't think out there, man. Yeah. It's too cold to think. Yeah. I like it, though. Why not? Um, okay. Everybody gets to get ready for, for you know, DJ. DJ Uwe. He's, he's going to be the QB. He's visiting this weekend. I hope he picks a different number than five. That's, right. Nobody needs to wear five at quarterback ever again. I here. agree. I but agree. I think he's going to be the QB. Okay. Um, I like it. Cam Ward or Will Howard seems like the guy down in Miami. Okay. One of the two. They have both in town either yesterday or the past couple of days. I think they could get either one. Cam Ward apparently is is pretty pricey, man. Getting a lot of different different rumor figures out there on the internet. Well, let Miami do that then. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, there was talk that he may come visit Florida State at the end of the week, but I don't I don't think he's going to do that. Um DJ is definitely coming this weekend on his official visit. Depending on what you read, man, it's he crazy, may or man. may not it's crazy. May leave. You know, just you like know, the, just the stay game here. we're doing now. You know, this guy that we saw in yeah. Dr. Pepper commercial just a few years back. Yeah. Um, and just was a big-time recruit, Clemson. Now, right, right, not, yeah. yeah. Across I mean, the country, played at Oregon State. Dude, it's like a journeyman quarterback in the NFL. It just that. Yeah. Hey, this really guy. Is. This guy was a first round draft pick. I mean, I he's mean, all right. The you game know, is but, so different. Yeah, just for, just in the last five years, so much has changed. Right. I think you know. Well, this is also, this is also a result of, um, Oregon State kind of just falling apart right. as a program. Right. Yeah, they lost their kid like quarterback. Yeah, kid like, and, and you know. DJ still does have that potential to to test the draft waters. So that's it's nothing set in stone. But I mean, if Florida State's adding a quarterback this year, it's going to be DJ. All right. I like it. I think that's what they need. I think they need a one year fit. Let him wear number two, play QB. Ah. Let's do something out there. Don't even change the offense, man. You don't even change the offense. I mean, he's perfectly capable of, of designed QB runs. He's a little more durable than than Travis, um, but I don't know. What about what else is going on in the transfer portal of some other positions that aren't the quarterback? Uh, big news, you know, baby shape. Marvin Jones Jr. jumped in from, from Georgia. Mm-hmm. I guess the assumption would obviously be that he's going to go to FSU. Okay. Um, I know that. The shade tree, Papa Jones, has been tweeting for the past couple months cryptic stuff 
about, you know, the portal and, and stuff like that. So maybe there might, I, I don't know. I don't think it's a slam dunk that he goes to Florida State. Okay. Uh, I know they, they want to add a couple defensive ends and, and stuff, but, you know, I'm sure he's going to have his suitors. So we'll see. But that's definitely something to watch. I mean, he would definitely be another edge player. You can maybe grow him into a traditional defensive end. Yeah. But his, his he's another kid that hasn't put all of that potential on field yet. You know, 12 tackles or something this season for Georgia. Well, but he you, flashed a little bit. Right. And it's been a long line. Well, you have a line now, Jermaine Johnson, Jared Verse. Yeah, you have a bit guys of a reputation. That have coming in of, yeah. and developed and put in round. that first round. So, yeah. you know, where I think that's got to factor in for him. I know that he doesn't want to play in that shadow, and it's a large shadow, isn't it, man? Oh, boy. It's a large shadow from a big tree. Right. I mean, they um, daggum called him Shade Tree. Yeah, I mean, I, I can't really ever think of any time that, that – you know, a football player, a Hall of Fame player at a school has had a son come to that school and, and live up to his dad's billing. Um Right. I I just you know, it's it like you said, it's a big it's a big shadow. But even if he just comes here and makes honorable mention all conference one year, dude, that's still you know, still productive. It wouldn't be what he was billed coming out of high school, but you know, now you're taking him from the transfer portal. So you're not necessarily paying what Georgia paid to get him out of high school. Hypothetically speaking, I'm not, you know, I have no insight in his particular recruitment or anything like that, but big name to watch. A um, couple other guys, the Kyle Kennard guy from Georgia tech, he's a grad transfer. Uh, kind of, you know, I, I, they're not in love with any defensive end prospects the way they were with Jared verse. Jermaine Johnson. So we'll see. I mean, I know they're going to add a couple, but I don't know that they're going to be big time, big time names to a lot of people. Okay. Um, what about the roster in terms of guys jumping in the portal? Well, you saw Malcolm Ray. Yeah. Announced he was jumping in the portal. I don't know if he's actually officially done it yet or not. Um, that was probably the biggest one. You've seen a couple other guys. You know, like the backup kicker hopped in there. Uh, I, you know, we'll see. I mean, I know they want to bring Malcolm Ray back. They would like to keep him, if possible. Yeah, he really improved. And yeah, he really flashed and, a and, lot. And he's experienced. He's he's a guy that's been through a lot. He's yep. a guy that you would like to have that in the locker room. Um, there's some talk that Dennis Briggs maybe pursuing a seventh year and trying to come back wow. for, for the Knowles next year. Um, <laughs> We'll see how that that shakes out. They should give that him another year since the committee left him out. They should give everybody another well, year. Well, he's he's had a man. He he's had you know. There's about two and a half years there where he just couldn't buy a break in we terms of health. Go. So that would that would be huge getting him back. Really would. But right now it's uh, you know transfer portal. Early signing day is next week. That's where a big focus is from the coaching staff. Yeah. Um, right. Like who's coaching the team right now? It's probably a bunch of like yeah, Nick O'Leary I, I, and the yeah. GAs. I mean, if Coaches even, are out. If they're even doing anything right. outside of just I mean, they, you know, meetings, that's, they but, ended, the season ended. Yeah, when they didn't get announced for the playoff. That's the sad part about it. Yeah, I think and honestly, uh, the season ended for every program besides the four teams that weren't that were announced. Yeah, that's how it is now. It's the off season while you still have. The climax of your season awaiting. It's supposed to be. I mean, you back in the day, these games were everything. They were big time. Right, right. The Orange Bowl was actually like a. I mean, other than this situation where you get game. snubbed, this would be awesome. You know, yeah, they kind of drew the shit into the stick. The Orange Bowl. They got a team that knew that they were one of the best four, and the other one that proved the chance. Right. They earned the chance to prove they were the best four. Right. I, I don't. I, I don't think they should play, man. Screw it. I wouldn't have a problem with no, it. They're a, going to. It's an underclassman jamboree, man. There's many people that Florida State won't have in this game that made huge impacts on this team. It's a shame. It's a sham, and it's a shame. Yeah, Shavesty. Yep, it's a Jordan Travesty. Right, big time, Noel? Uh, NFL tomorrow. We got a... 
got a big time interview tomorrow too coming up on the show. We're going to talk to surprise guest. Yeah, one of the one of the Seminoles from this past year. Not just this past year, a, 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 a cornerstone of this rebuild of this right. climb. Right. Like looking forward to that. Yeah. Just stick around. We got NFL picks too coming up. God dang it! The Dolphins lost to the Titans. I went oh. to bed and they was winning. Oh my gosh! So, oh, Will Levis, Bo Callahan himself, Willie Levi, <laughs> the guy that nobody went to his birthday party. You let that guy beat you. Bo Callahan beat you. Guy puts mayonnaise in his coffee, people. Yeah, that is weird. He does remind me of that character from that movie Draft Day, though, Bo Callahan. All right, Jimmy, I appreciate it, man. Yeah. NFL yeah. picks tomorrow. Uh, we got a big interview with a Seminole. And uh, we'll talk to you then, right here on the North Florida Sports Network. We had to go. Our ride was here. We got a uh, shuttle uh, to our.